Mason Fine is a senior at Locust Grove High School here in northeastern Oklahoma. He's a 4.0 student, class president, and a record-breaking quarterback. Mason attributes much of his success to his family, his team, and an unbreakable spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the fight? Would you stand up and shout for class 3A number 2, Locust Grove Pirates! And for your Locust Grove Pirates, your team captain will be number 9, Mason Fine. My name is Mason Fine, and I am the quarterback for the Locust Grove Pirates. I started getting interested in football when I was probably in fourth grade. Then I didn't start realizing that I loved football is when after that, that fourth grade season of playing over in the youth football at Telequal, it was probably that summer after that season is where I started becoming a quarterback and throwing the football and going to camps. And most kids don't like going to camps and maybe not putting in work or learning, but I just, I loved learning the game of football and becoming a better player is probably when I just realized that I want to be the best player I could be. He's the best high school quarterback I've ever seen. And I've been doing this for 24 years now. Mason is just special because a lot of quarterbacks can throw, a lot of quarterbacks can run. He can do both those, but he doesn't make mistakes. And he studies the game so much. His 5,000 yards last year was impressive because no high school quarterback had ever thrown for 4,000 in Oklahoma. And he threw for 5,000. But he threw for 71 touchdowns. And it was this new state record. It was, a, it was almost a national record, everything. But he, he only threw six interceptions with that. But uh, that to me is what is impressive about Mason as a football player. Just he doesn't make mistakes in the way he runs, it runs an offense. You know, when he was growing up, you know, throwing the football around out in the yard, you just you never really expected. You just want him to be, to, to be able to throw the ball well. And, you know, he wanted to play football, and I just wanted him to be, be good at it. It really started taking off when his freshman year, he, um, he actually started as a re receiver on, on the varsity squad. So he started playing early on, and we knew he kind of had a knack for throwing the ball. We have a competitive drive, competitive nature. So I just kind of think it kind of came in, in his genetics. He kind of grew up with that. I think it's just going out and being the best you can be. Go 100% at something, you know, why do it 50%? You know, now that I am still in high school and I'm a quarterback, and it's just I want to go out there and be the best quarterback I can be for my team. And um, if that's putting in film, then I'll watch film. If that's staying late and throwing with the receivers, then that's what it takes. But I think that comes from when I was younger. My parents just raised me to go out there and try my hardest. And I think that brings out the competitive nature. And then now I just want to be the best player out there. In this past year, his junior year just kind of just blew up. We just, you know, we, we never expected the records and the awards that kind of came along with it um, and the, the media attention that, that came with it. And, you know, the first, I think the first major one was probably the Gatorade, uh, Gatorade Oklahoma Player of the Year. And um, that was just, we were just astonished, you know. And, and then the um, Channel 8 Ford Award uh, came along and then we had then the Tulsa World. He got Tulsa World uh, Player of the Year. The Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City he got Offensive Player of the Year with them. And then uh, and even some of the, the national media, uh, Max Preps, I mean, he got small schools, All-American. You know, I like to think about, there was a recruiter that came by and was like, how many yards are you going to throw for this year? I'm like, as many as it takes to win a state championship. Yes, there's been several coaches and scouts and people from around here that have told me, oh, you're a good quarterback, but you're a little bit too small to play big Division I football. But when I've gotten older, I don't really listen to them because I realize that there will be a school that takes a chance on my size. When people tell me I'm just too, I'm too short or too small, I just kind of, now I, I brush it off. and I'm just like, all right, well, one day I'll prove you wrong. You know, people say me and her's pretty close, me and my sister. She's 11, and you know, we fight like every other sibling. Me and her, we have the, she kind of has the same attitude as me. She cares about academics already, and we'll go out and play softball. I know I'll throw her, we'll play catch and just go out there. You know, maybe one day with me tutoring her and with basketball and softball, maybe she'll be a better athlete than me. It'd be really nice to see my sister go on and do better than me. They asked me, you know, what race are you? I'm, like, I'm Indian, you know, I'm, I'm Cherokee, and I like to express my, um, my heritage. It makes the Cherokee people look good too when they see the, the how good I'm doing. And I say it with confidence, I love being Cherokee. It's just a really neat thing. And not a whole lot of people are. And I just, I don't take it for granted and I really embrace it. You know, football won't be there for the rest of my life. I mean, there's gonna be one day where I'm not gonna be able to play football. So I'd like to have that education to draw back on. 
and my parents have installed that in, into me that academics is a really big thing. And now I've, I've grown up, I've understood that, and I take it very seriously. I'm a 4.0 TPA student, and I've been class president the past four years. I just hope to see that he has his dreams and desire to go on and play major in college football. He understands that the end goal is the goal to get the education, and that way you take the education, get that degree, and go get you a job, and, and ultimately just be successful in life. As a kid, my dream's always been to play Division I college. If I go to the right school and I have a good coach that you know, gets me ready, um, past college and advance for the NFL, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try. I'm not going to let my dream die. I'm always going to pursue and have passion for that dream. And I'm not going to let it slip through my hands if I have an opportunity. I don't think there's any chance of me getting burned out on football. The past six years, it's been 24-7, 365 days. And I'm still in love with it. I was stepping on the first time in fourth grade. I just have a passion and desire, and I know that deep down, I have a reason to be playing football. I'm not gonna let my ability go to waste. When I'm older, when I'm 50 years old, I will still love football. I will go to the games. I will play and catch with other kids, try to make them better. I'll probably be coaching somewhere. I just don't think that desire and that passion will ever leave. I think I'll always be in love with football.